Hey guys, so today I'm sharing this process video for this page I made a week ago, I think. Um, this page is another beach summary page, um, and I'll be using some of the Kelly Perky stuff that came out this month. Um, so I'm going to be using cards from the, I think, the main monthly kit and this awesome stamp set called Beach Day, which, you know, I'm obsessed with. Not surprising. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's get started. Um, I'm using a lot of pink, which is weird. It's like a peachy pink, so it makes a little bit more sense. And it just helps bring out the uh, pinky tones, I think, in the dip and dots that I have right there and the bottom photo. Um, if you like vlogs, I actually did vlog this day also, so I'll keep a link to that in the description box below and you can check it out if you want. Um, this day we went to the beach, I brought my sister with me, and I met up with my friends Jamie and Zara again. And then we ended up getting tattoos, so it was a very interesting day. Um, very unexpected, but it was good. So yeah, I think I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, I haven't been scrapping as much as I would like because I've just been busy, so it's harder for me to get back into the flow of things, so I'm trying to go get back into it slowly. And I came out with this really cool page uh, that I think I'm going to share on Thursday. I have a process video for it, and it's a grid page, so look forward to that. This page is mostly pictures, so I only needed two different filler journaling cards. So now I'm just going to get started on figuring out what I want to do with that stamp set. I finally decided to just use the stamp that says Beach Day and make it kind of my title in the middle of the page. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that right there. This page is super simple, so it might get boring to have to explain everything. So I think I might just start rambling about random stuff you may or may not care about. And if you don't care, you can just mute me until it's over. So, yeah. Um, so it's currently September 8th? 9th? No, 12th? 13th. 12th. September 12th. Uh, I think Dancing with the Stars comes back tonight, which I'm really excited about. Um, I hate the fall, if you don't already know. I hate winter. I hate cold weather. But the only good thing about the fall season is that all of my TV shows come back. So I'm really looking forward to having something to watch. Uh, I just finished watching Superstore. If you don't know what Superstore is, it is a sitcom on NBC. It's from one of the guys that worked on The Office and it is a workplace comedy starring America Ferreira and it's the cast is just stellar. It's so funny. Um, I'm in love with it. It's great. If you're into parks and I really like community and I like shows like that. So it's, it's solid. Um, so I'm excited that's going to come back, I think the 22nd. And Grace comes back on the 22nd. Um, Grace hasn't been as good as it's been in the past. I think I've just, I'm just in too deep that I can't stop watching it. It's literally like, what, season 12 or something? So it's like one of those things, like, I want to stop. I probably should stop, but I won't because I'm just too committed. Um, yeah, I could talk about TV all day. Honestly, I could just make a whole video talking about all of the TV shows I watch and all of the TV shows I want to watch. Mm. Anyway, back to the page. I'm doing something kind of interesting now. Um, I'm just using one of these cards that I chose and I'm using the stamp set. The stamp set is great because it has a bunch of little word bits and pieces, but it also has some really cute beach illustrations. So I'm just going to use three of those boxes and just stamp little things from the stamp set. I have a shell up there and the bottom right hand part is going to have two little fish and they're so cute. Look at them. They're so tiny. Uh, and it comes with two different size fish so that's great. And then like a little bubble stamp which is like really cute too but I didn't use it. Um, so that's that card. I thought it was really simple and really cute and I just I love it. It's great. This page started out kind of slow, but I'm now remembering that there are a lot of really cute bits and pieces I like on this page. Uh, I'm taking another stamp from the stamp set that says, I love the sand between my toes or something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some vellum. I love to stamp on vellum because it's a great way to add texture to your pages without taking attention away from your photos. Um, you can see right through vellum. It's just a nice little accent. And I think it really went well with the page. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that there and I am going to actually rip it off again to add some more texture. And for those of you wondering, I like to use Dazon ink on my vellum 
because it dries really fast and I am super impatient. So, yeah, if you're as impatient as I am, I would definitely go for stays on for the majority of your stamping needs um, if you're like using black ink and whatnot. Uh, again, just ripping it because I really like the look of it. It looks really cute. Um, and then I just uh, add some adhesive. When I'm using vellum, I use very little adhesive because I usually end up um, stapling it anyway and I just need something to keep it in place until then. Since you can see through it, sometimes you can see the adhesive on the vellum, so I just put very, very little. This page stays pretty flat aside from the staples I add, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add my handwritten journaling, which is crazy because I have really been into handwritten journaling. Um, I don't know if it's just a look I like, I don't know what's going on with me, but I just really like how it, I feel like it looks more personal with handwritten journaling and it's a lot easier for me to write things out than type on my typewriter and cut them out, which is also probably why. I've also really been liking the look of handwritten journaling on photos. It looks very kind of, I don't know if makeshift is the word, but just like that distressed kind of, it just kind of looks kind of thrown together look. I don't know. I'm not making any sense, but I've just really been liking the way it looks. And I right now I'm stealing a tip from Kelly Perky's wonderful videos and her style, which is like one of my favorites, and doing some journaling around the Dippin' Dots cup I have. It's not a white plate, but I think it looks pretty cool also. So, yeah. And with that, the page is pretty much finished. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about anything I've mentioned, used, or done in this video, and I'll try to get back to you. Uh, please subscribe for more videos. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time.